You abused me. And by the way, I was 17 years old at the time. Things being said next are not legally established facts and therefore must be seen as allegations. Andy is claiming that he was groomed. Nobody ever said anything sexual about each other. Andy himself admitted that uh, I was 17 years old at the time. Who manipulated me? Said next, to doxing my address. Before watching this video, I'd highly encourage you to watch both of Droodle's response videos for context. They'll be linked down in the description. Now, assuming all of you are familiar with the current situation regarding Droodle's, let's begin. I'm going to show you the truth about Jasper. Obviously, Droodle's messaging them and enabling their behavior was inappropriate and wrong, but Droodle's already admitted and acknowledged this. Now, I will fully admit that it was my fault to send a, a pornographic video. That was on me. However, I do have evidence that supports the fact that this person is not who you think. If you didn't know, Jasper began messaging Droodle's first as they were a fan that supported Droodle's by sending him large sums of money. This is an official YouTube super chat receipt if you do not believe me. In this screenshot, you can see that Jasper spammed Droodles with messages to no response, as Droodles stated this is around the time that he felt uncomfortable. He had sent me 15 images of gay black porn just randomly in my DMs where I really didn't say anything as I wasn't comfortable with the situation. But why did Droodles even respond in the first place? I was in a situation where I was being paid by somebody who you know, was a fan. He was begging me to put him in VCs, which I reluctantly did every now and then. You can ask Batchat or anybody else who was in the VCs at the current time, and I did not care about Jasper, nor did anybody else. Now, what do I think about this? Going back to the previous screenshot, I believe Jasper had gotten angry that Droodles would not respond anymore and used the screenshots and videos exposing him as a way of getting payback. Who manipulated me? Now, based off Droodle's most recent video as of recording this, degenerate named Nala has come clean and admitted through DMs to Droodle's that they lied and manipulated him. It is absolutely sickening what has happened to Droodle's because of this person. For those of you who don't know, Nala is a dude, and here is him blatantly being a pedophile. Sigma, Sigma on the wall. Who's the biggest meat rider of them all? Oh wait, it's just Shitimator. You know what's wild? Check out this screenshot. Now let's take a look at Fartimator's channel. Holy shit, he's made six fucking videos on Droodles over the years. Well, that's not all. When I searched for his Droodles videos, every fucking video on his channel came up. Why? because this Deegan Beta Loser uses Droodle's fucking name in either his video description or tags. So when people search for Droodle's content, Shittimator's videos pop up. This dude has been on Droodle's meat for years, but I won't explain the full context. Instead, I've linked a third video in the description where Droodle's calls Shittimator out and explains the law. In short, this guy spews out terrible content and only complains and looks at the negative side of things, especially when it comes to droodles. Anyways, let's get on with the video. To doxing my address. If you are not aware, droodles was doxed and people actually showed up to his home address. There have been a dedicated group of people that have gone to doxing my address, showing up at my house, literally taking a picture of themselves at my address. To my knowledge, the doxers released his personal and family's information. Yep, you heard that right. People who had nothing Nothing to do with the situation were affected. The reason I've disappeared is not only for my safety, but my family's safety. It disgusts me that they resorted straight to this before even giving Droodles a chance to defend himself. I was actually in the Discord server, created to expose Droodles, because I unfortunately jumped to conclusions and made a video dissing Droodles. However, I heard rumors about potential information leaks and quickly left the server as I wanted absolutely nothing to do with that. And that is the point of making this video, to help restore Droodles' reputation. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Go support Droodles as he needs it more than ever. Goodbye.